Royals seem larger than life, but in truth, they're all too human. These are some of the royal family members who secretly faced a cancer diagnosis on the world stage. You know the story by now. After months of fevered, increasingly unhinged speculation, Princess Catherine revealed that a planned abdominal surgery in January 2024 uncovered the presence of cancer. This, of course, came as a huge shock, and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. In her video message to the world, the princess declined to specify the type or severity of her cancer, and Kensington Palace representatives emphasized that no further information on her health would be disclosed. As Catherine herself said in her message, we hope that you'll understand that, as a family, we now need some time, space, and privacy Will I complete my treatment. Decades after his death, the Duke of Windsor remains a notorious figure. It was his desire to marry divorced American Wallace Simpson that led him to abdicate the throne of England, changing the course of royal succession. The man once known as King Edward VIII was also a Nazi sympathizer who once plotted to return to the throne with the Nazis' help. This is a man who will stop at nothing to usurp the throne. Edward wanted to come back as a Nazi-installed leader. The Duke spent the final years of his life in exile living in France. He experienced ill health in his later years and died in 1972 at the age of 77. At the time, it was said that he died peacefully of natural causes. The specifics revealed later were that the cause of his death was laryngeal cancer. After his older brother's abdication, King George VI became monarch in 1936. The king had been a heavy smoker since his youth, reportedly consuming more than two packs of cigarettes a day. The habit played havoc on his health as he grew older, with maladies including a blocked artery in his leg that required surgical intervention in 1949. In September 1951, he was diagnosed with lung cancer and underwent surgery. At the time, that diagnosis was not revealed, even after the king's doctors determined that his prognosis was terminal. Just five months later, George died in his sleep at the age of 56. The official cause of death was said to be a heart attack, but has since been widely acknowledged to have resulted from lung cancer. The Queen Mother, widow of George and mother of Elizabeth and Margaret, was something of a poster child for longevity. Despite reportedly daily indulgences of gin, wine, and champagne, she made it to the ripe old age of 101 before she passed away in 2002. It was not revealed until after her death that the centenarian royal had previously undergone treatment for cancer, and not just once. According to an official biography from author William Shawcross, she went under the knife in 1966 after being diagnosed with colon cancer. At the time, the official line from Buckingham Palace was that she'd had an operation to address an intestinal blockage, a fib that backfired when false rumors began spreading that she required a colostomy bag. Nearly 20 years later, the public was told that the Queen Mother was admitted to the hospital to undergo tests, the results of which indicated she was in excellent health. The real reason behind that hospital visit, however, was to have a carcinoma removed from her breast. In both cases, she made a full recovery. Victoria, Princess Royal, was the eldest child of Queen Victoria and her husband, Prince Albert. She went on to marry Prince Frederick William of Prussia. In 1888, he became both the King of Prussia and Emperor of Germany, with Victoria becoming Empress. His reign was a brief one. A heavy smoker, Frederick was diagnosed with cancer of the larynx shortly after his ascension to the throne. He declined an operation to remove the tumor, which he judged to be too risky, but was eventually forced to undergo a tracheotomy when the growing tumor in his throat threatened to choke him. Frederick's reign lasted just 99 days before the cancer took his life. The widowed Victoria lived out the rest of her days as Empress Dowager. Like her husband, Victoria was also stricken with cancer. While definitive information about her illness will likely never be known, the doctors who diagnosed her with breast cancer deemed it to be inoperable. She died in 1901 at the age of 60. The younger brother of Empress Victoria, King Edward VII, was the second child of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert, and took the throne of the UK in 1902. During his reign, he received a diagnosis of basal cell carcinoma, a common form of skin cancer that typically develops on areas of the body that are regularly exposed to sunlight, predominantly the face. 
That was the case for Edward VII, whose skin cancer was near his nose. He was treated with radium, a fairly new and experimental procedure at the time, but one that worked. The radium treatment reportedly cured him, leaving the king free of skin cancer. Cancer was not reported to be a factor when he died in 1910 at 68, having served as King of England for less than 10 years. Queen Margrethe of Denmark made headlines in early 2024 when the 83-year-old monarch abdicated so that her eldest son, Crown Prince Frederick, could take her place on the throne. The third cousin of Queen Elizabeth II and great-great-granddaughter of Queen Victoria, Margrethe had a reputation as a chain smoker for most of her life. In 2006, an announcement declared that she would no longer smoke in public so as not to encourage Danes to take up the habit, although she continued to puff away in private. In 1994, Margaret was diagnosed with cervical cancer, for which she successfully underwent treatment. No publicized recurrences of cancer followed, though the Queen did undertake multiple surgeries during her life, including a major back surgery in 2023 that preceded her decision to abdicate. Sarah Ferguson became a member of Britain's royal family when she married Prince Andrew in 1986. They separated in 1992, with their divorce finalized in 1996. In June 2023, the Duchess of York underwent a routine mammogram, which revealed that she had breast cancer. She immediately underwent surgery. The public, however, wasn't informed about the diagnosis until after she'd already gone under the knife. After a New Year's Eve post in which she celebrated beating breast cancer, she was diagnosed with a cancerous mole, which was removed in January 2024. Her spokesperson stated, Clearly, another diagnosis so soon after treatment for breast cancer has been distressing, but the Duchess remains in good spirits. When Queen Elizabeth II died in 2022 at the age of 96, her death certificate listed the cause of death as old age. A royal source later added context to the Daily Beast, saying, The secret of her failing health was well guarded, but she had actually been very unwell for a lot longer than most people knew. Could there have been another factor at play other than old age? That's the contention of author Giles Brandreth, a friend of both the Queen and her late husband, Prince Philip. In his 2022 book, Elizabeth, An Intimate Portrait, Brandreth claimed that the Queen had been suffering from myeloma, a form of bone marrow cancer, which was a closely held secret within Buckingham Palace. The bone cancer diagnosis has also been floated by other royal gossips like Lady Colin Campbell, but it's never been officially confirmed. People knew she was dying, she had bone cancer. Dickie Arbiter, who had served as the Queen's spokesman from 1988 to 2000, told Newsweek, I don't think anybody knows what it was. He also claimed that, quote, we certainly won't know anything for the next 100 years, a reference to Britain's National Archives policy of keeping royal documentation a secret for a full century.